D-Roy Cruz, your life applications officer. Before I start, let's have a little bit of fun. I noticed that the taking shots at me are never going to go away. My haters still find a way, or, well, they're not, but they're still trying to find a way to get to me, okay? And the last video I did, I'm going to say it again, you're busted. The video I did about my gay artists, and if you made one about my gay Republican, you're busted. You are busted. Okay? You're busted. Because I can understand certain places, things that I say where I didn't think about it before I did the video. Yeah, you can come in there and say, hold up, Mr. Cruz. You're way off base. But please tell me. I don't really care. And I'm not going to, I don't care. I'm, I'll never know your answer because I don't care. It's over. You understand? It's over. So I really don't care. I'm not looking for your answer, but please tell me. Which you cannot. Why? What I said wrong in that video. Do I need to make a part three and throw it up in your face again? The only people that should be upset about it are the faggots. Excuse my French, YouTube. And that's what you are. Okay? You're a bunch of faggots. Why should... I'm going to say it again. Why should your... Why should your homosexual behavior or your sex life control your whole entire life? Is the point of the video. If you think for two seconds that that's okay, that a person shouldn't have to separate their homosexual behavior from them communicating something that has nothing to do with his homosexual behavior or his his lifestyle or his relationship with the same sex or anything. We're talking about an artist who is teaching people that are not gay. He's got just as many non-gay subscribers as he has gay subscribers or even more than he has gay subscribers. And it, I, don't, I really don't give a rat's behind if the, his non-gay subscribers don't care. You know, they think it's just comedy to watch him twerk and to watch him try on women's clothes and all that stuff when he's not a woman. Okay? And... He's not a bunch of other things either that are in relation to a woman. But yet, you know. If you think that that's okay, that he should have a right to express his gay behavior that only goes in the bedroom. He's not going to do this at work. He's not going to do this, okay, when he's out on a date even. But when he's on YouTube, he wants to act like him teaching you pastel art is um, his time, his personal time, to show you what he wants in the bedroom. To show you not only that he's gay, but what kind of gay person he is and how he likes it in the bedroom. This is the problem with all you faggots. Okay? This is the problem. 
This is the problem with all you tricks. Because you don't know how to separate, okay, one thing from another. You don't know how to let your gay lifestyle be your gay lifestyle. It's got to be everybody's lifestyle. It's got to be everybody's problem. If you think I said something off basis in that video, in those two videos, your atheism is just as bad. Everything about you that makes you an atheist is dumb, stupid, sinful, and evil. And everything about you that makes you LGBTQ is sinful, evil, and perverted. And, a, and an abomination, says the word of God. I really don't care what you have to say about me. I don't care. One, two, three, four, five, all of y'all. I don't care. It's over. What do I got to do? But it's okay. You want me to believe. You want me to believe that it's all about your channel and what you have a right to do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We'll see. Because once you get it in your thick skull that I don't care, you'll buzz off. But you think I care, I don't. Now, today's video, now getting on with it. Today's video is brought to you by Black Lives Matter and Jesse Lee Peterson. Okay. Um, this is what sparked this video. <coughs> I was watching a video by my man, Ellen Marr. And I'm getting to another issue you faggots don't like because you not only are you faggots, you black faggots. Okay, so so continue to watch this one too, and I'm 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 just having visions and dreams of what you have to say. But I really don't care. I really don't care. I really don't care. Did I say I don't care? I really don't care. Did I? Let me say it one more time. I really don't care. Seriously. Okay? If I'm that much of a star that you can't, that, 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 you know, you want me to believe, and it's all about, you know, like, you can say what you want to say. But if I don't watch your videos, what, 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 what's it got to do with the price of tea in China? And I've deleted most of the people that let me know what you say on your videos. I got They said your name and click, they're gone. They let me know, to, they, they mention one of y'all's name and click, they're gone. I don't even really care anymore if anybody comments on my channel at all. Either way, okay, I already have a few of y'all that are texting me, well not texting me, but emailing me, asking me if y'all can come back to my channel, you'll, you'll, you'll promise to behave yourself. I don't know if I need you to behave yourself. I don't know if you know how to do that. Because you still ain't going to watch the whole entire video and learn anything. I'm becoming bored with you. Really am. 
But here's something else that I'm going to get bored with you about that I got to say. Um, today, I was watching my man LMR. Um, he went back in time. This is about two years old. He watched the Jesse Lee Peterson video. Um, and they were talking about Black Lives Matter. And um, the guy went to saying how much he was afraid. And that every day of his life was a battle. And every day of his life he had to fear cops. And every day of his life. Every day of his life. Every day of his life. Um, he was... He felt threatened as a black man. He felt uncomfortable and unhappy and disoriented and and in a in a in a uh, far away country as a black man, so to speak. I mean, he just was unhappy as a black man, and he said that with a smile on his face. Okay. 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 I'm going to talk about that, if I can find it. Where's my notes? Um, and I actually, I'm actually going to zip right through this. I'm not going to hold you long. Not like I did yesterday. Because I'm tired of talking about this. I'm, you know, title of my video is today, today, we go home. Back in the day, home was a different place. Home was a place to where they chose where you could live and what stretch of land you could live on and who you lived with and who you communicated with and how many of y'all was allowed to live there. And when you went home, you were always concerned about... Um, what the masters the masters were going to do with you what your next war your battle or your punishment or whatever it may be would be from your masters but even then you went home but today is a different place today home is a different thing today home is wherever you decide to make your home. Today is whatever community, okay, or ethnicity, nationality, race, that you want to put your home into. You get to choose your friends. You even get to choose your enemies. You get to choose where you want to battle and whether you want to battle at all. You have every choice. Whatever, whatever freedoms your enemy has today, you have the same freedoms. Tell me I'm wrong. Black people don't like white people. And there are white people that don't like black people. But trust you me, black people can say it, but white people better not. Not in public. Okay? Today it's up to you. It's up to you how you build your home, your life. Let's talk about that. It's up to you how you build, black folks, your home your life are you building or are you just existing and blaming it on the white man see the white man ain't just existing unless he's a homeless bum on the street he's not just existing neither are the asians that come here to this country just existing the indians that come here just existing you're going to let these Illegal immigrants, these Spanish people that's coming over here illegally, you're going to let them beat you at culture? 
You going to let them beat you with freedom? See, it's not between, let me tell you something. It's not between you and white people. It's between you and everybody. If you pay attention, there's people out there living better than white people. And they live in this country. You are so hateful and struck and infatuated and fascinated and obsessed with white people. There's way more people that will call you an N-word faster than any white man ever will. Now, I got to admit, they don't put signs up in these little white ghettos that says no N-words allowed. Okay, and stuff like that. Yeah, I admit, we still got to drive past some of that crap these days, especially if you're like me, where you just drive around and get lost in people's neighborhoods just for the fun of it. That's why I got no car. I'm always getting myself into trouble. I'm surprised white man didn't shoot that car up all the places I've been and seen some horrible things. And yet I'm still not a slave. Yet I'm still free. If I don't like my boss, I can fire my boss. Of course, he'll still be working. But I can say, bye, kiss my behind. You know, I can leave. Back in the day, where was you going to go? You leave your boss, you done left your savior. He, your boss was your Jesus. Your boss looked at you. You said you were going to run. If they let you run, where was you going to run to? See, when you was with the master, the master not only enslaved you, but he protected you. But if you ran and tried to get away and you ran into a slave that don't, or, or a slave master rather, that don't own you, he could chop you to pieces and, and, and claim you was trespassing. Right? Am I, am I wrong? According to you, but let's get real. Agree with me that this is not the issue today. Okay? Today, you run. All people can do is say no. Okay? They try to put their hands on you. You got a right to defend yourself. They, they take you to court. You can get a public defender. And win the case. I've done it before. Ain't had no money. Public defender went in there and and beat the paid at attorney. They not only came against me as a black man, they came against me as a Christian. A public offender that was an atheist. He might have been. Came in there and won... The case. For me. And didn't receive a dime. Well, he received money from the government. He didn't get nothing out of me. He didn't get, he didn't, he, they, he, this knucklehead made money for losing. He didn't get paid quite like they did. But that's the freedom that we have. We got all kinds of pro bono out there. Okay? It's up to you how you build your life. You don't have to stay in Pittsburgh if Pittsburgh is getting on your nerves. That's why I'm moving. Okay? I moved here because I thought that I could change some things. I guess I got to keep moving, but that's okay. That's life. Okay? Um, it's up to you. I mean, it's up to you what kind of work you want to do, whether you want to go to college, whether you want to get a GED, whether you want to go take classes somewhere and pay less, less tuition and out of your own pocket so you don't have all this debt and, and, and have to pay back grant. You got so many choices today as a black man. You have... So many choices. 
Okay? And if I go into a neighborhood and they give me trouble, I can put it on the news. Everybody loves a good story. I can put it on the news and crack that neighborhood wide open. I've been places where people acted up and, that, and, and all the black folks told me, Channel 4 News, Channel 4 News, Channel 4 News, Channel 4 News, call them up. They'll be here before you can finish snapping your finger. NAACP, NAACP, call them up. And I've heard people tell me their story. No, I call Channel 4 News. I call Channel 4 News. Channel 11 showed up too. It's all over the world what happened to me. You have choices. And even illegal choices. Judges will let you get away with today. They'll let you know like them people. You remember that Sesame, Sesame Street story that just went viral? Where, you know, I guess the kids wanted a hug from Big Bird or whatever. If, if that's who it was. And they waved him off like, no, 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 I'm done. I'm off. I'm, 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 I'm taking a break. I need a sandwich or something. Okay? I got to use the bathroom. I ain't got time for you black behind. Little baby kids. <laughs> I ain't got time. And now, now the parents are suing him. They're suing him. And they might win if they haven't already. So that's what I mean when I say even stupid stuff, you can win. Black folks are always suing somebody for some stupid crap. You know what I mean? If you don't want to hug my kids, I don't want you hugging my kids. I just wish I had known that before I sent them out there to get a hug. If you don't want me in your neighborhood, your neighborhood better be pretty hot. Because I'll just let you win. What I need to be in this neighborhood for, there's other neighborhoods. What I need to be, if you don't want me in your little country-fied hillbilly, smell like you don't take a bath neighborhood, okay, maybe I don't need to be in this neighborhood. Where's downtown at? All I see is chickens. Do I really need to be here? All I see is ten chickens and two goats. Do I need to be here? What am I going to do? Come in this neighborhood and if I lose my job, I got to milk a cow? Wherever he's at. No, maybe if you don't like me, maybe I don't, maybe I don't want to be around you. Maybe I can take my business elsewhere, black folks. You don't need to be liked by everybody. You think I don't deal with white people every day? White people come to my job. And they think that I'm too black to assist them. I'm too black to help them. I'm too black to tell them what the policies are. We want a manager. Went and got the manager. He was Indian. Oh, snap. I just can't win. No, sir, you cannot win. This is 2022. Watch your mouth. You can, you'll say something. You, you can actually get arrested today. For what you say, especially in these neighborhoods where the mayors are black. Me and an Uber driver was talking about that today. Why, why are they letting these kids get away with all this crime? These kids are out here killing people right here in the heart of downtown Pittsburgh. They coming in, coming in on in my on my job site, threatening people with a gun. Talking about they gonna come back and shoot somebody. And the cops are like, we can't do much with them. I'm thinking. Have I met this mayor? He's like, oh, yeah, the last election, the mayor, they did change um, this mayor to a more liberal mayor. Oh, that explains everything. Me and Uber driver was talking about that today. It's up to you how you want to build your life. You want to go to college? Go to college. Do whatever you need to do to get there. You want to be up there and wear work boots and, and, and climb the telephone pole and, you know, dig a ditch and climb down in there and make $30 an hour 
for digging a ditch and climbing down in there? You can do that. Sure, you might have to fight a little bit. Times are still changing. The thing is, listen, black folks, times are still changing. Times are still changing. They're not, they're, 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 they haven't stopped changing. Times are still changing. Let them change. Not just for you, but for everybody. I'm okay with that. I'm Christian, and I'm and I'm okay with that. I just don't appreciate everybody got the right to express, but we Christians don't. Everybody got the right to uh, sue and 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 cancel and shut down other people. Everything we do gets overturned. Even against the Constitution, it gets overturned. Everything. And you blame it on, you blame it on, like this one Uber driver said, fundamentalism. Right wing fundamentalism. Well, I don't even know what that is. Because my pastor never preached any right wing fundamentalism to me. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know what that means. Listen. It started off with us. And if black folks, it didn't start off with you, but it did start with us Christians. Black folks, it did not start off with you. Start off with white people. I, I'm going to say it again. It sounds really outrageous, but I'm going to say it again. It goes just like anything else in life. Okay? Those that sleep in the building are not better than the people that built it. Those that sleep in the building that somebody else built are not better than the builders. Those that are driving their cars on the roads that somebody else paved are not better than those that paved it. A, a, a student is not better than his teacher. That's Bible. A servant is not better than his master. That's Bible. You was a slave. And now you want to you wanna come in you want to flip it and make everybody your slave. That's not going to happen. But thank God for you in a beautiful country like this, which is why I love it so much. We just keep on getting freer and freer and freer and freer. Some freedoms don't deserve to be free. Okay? Like my brother I was just talking about. If it ever turns into a big protests okay he's wrong I'm right because I don't throw my Christianity up in everybody's face for every little thing I talk about my channels are all Christian channels but I have two channels where I don't really talk about Christianity that much because I'm talking to everybody not just Christians and I wish my gay favorite artist would have the same respect for me that I have for him. That's all I'm saying. But Mr. Winston seems to think that that's wrong. That he should be able to express himself any way he wants to. Have you went to his channel? No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to give you his address. Okay? You can take the photos that I've made of him on my channel and matched him up with who he is on YouTube. If you really, 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 really want to make him part of your hate group, which I know you do, I know you do so bad. But anyway, getting back to black folks. It's up to you. It's never been just us. Never been just us. All the racism that you've been through. Now maybe you were the only ones that were taking slaves in the United States. Well, you were taking, the, the, the most population of you was taking slaves in the United States. But there were other people, and I have friends Okay, red-headed friends that went through slavery in the United States too. Not as big as you did, but they went through it. 
and there's some parts of their slavery and their survival in this country and their mistreatment that'll blow yours right out of the water. Okay? So, it's never been just about you. Now, in other countries, even though people look just like each other, they take each other as slaves. The politics are, are horrible. Communist China is horrible. Korea, the way they separate their people is horrible. Some of these Spanish colonies, their, their cities, their, the, the best of their cities and their, their nations. Horrible the way they treat their people. At least the people that might mistreat us don't look like us. God, it's nice to know that we are different in culture, but man, in some of these other countries, they separate people like over the dumbest things. And you go and hang out in that nation, ask black folks over in Russia, Black folks over in Ukraine, black folks over in Japan, black folks over in Korea, they know what the difference is when everybody looks alike. They're watching us. There's other ways to tell one group of people from another, even though they all look alike. Because of their different cultures, their dress codes, the way they carry themselves, their freedoms, their freedom is the main thing. But see, you have the same freedom that white people have. Now, I know you disagree, but have you used them? Have you used up your freedom card? Have you used all your freedoms? See, I know a lot of black people that will never, ever try to go get that big job. They don't trust trying to do it. They'll never, ever... They want to move to Florida, but they'll never, ever do what they need to do to get there. But I've watched white people break their back hours of overtime and training and you name it, away from their families even. Saving up pennies nickels and dimes until they had enough to get what they want in life. You can do the same thing. You can do the same thing. It's never been about just us. But everybody has a history of abuse. Everybody has a history that they're not proud of. Everybody has a history of war and famine, slavery. Everybody does. This ain't never been just about us. Racism is just one part of control politics. Let's call it control politics. Racism is just one part of it. There's other ways to control people, but racism, I will admit, they love for you to hang yourself by what you say. Black people need to shut up. Stop talking right now. Because they hang you by what you say. These liberals, these Democrats, they love for you to say that you're a victim. They love for you to say that you're unhappy. They love for you to say the word racism, white privilege, white supremacy. And when they go home to their kids, they say, yeah, that's right. That's right. But look what I did for your black behind. Yeah, that's right. I'm white privilege. And even when you claim to be helping me, when you say stuff like that, white people, how dare you? How dare you? Because you ain't being honest. You just love the idea. Yeah, I am white privilege. Yeah, I am white supremacy. Well, you got a point there. I am white supremacy. Hold on to that happy thought. You ain't to me. Okay? I know what my freedoms are that my ancestor didn't have. I know what my freedoms are that my ancestors didn't have. You're not going to pull me into that bullcrap either. Okay? But racism is, 
racism is just one part of the way they control us. There's other ways. They control the banks. They control, uh, you know, your jobs and, you, you know, I mean, I, I got to hand it to Joe Biden, even though I can't stand him. God help me, I can't stand that old man. Okay, he need to get on his bike and stay on there until he just ain't president no more. I'm sick of him. But, I got to hand it to him. He tried to raise the minimum wage rate. Okay? And I know that Donald Trump wants to, to raise it too, but he's thinking of the math compared to all the other math that's more important. And you say, well, what could be more important than getting a pay raise, getting a raise, bringing up, you know, getting everybody off a of minimum wage? What could be more important? Uh, you knowing how to spend money, sir. You knowing how to save money. You knowing how to spend money. You knowing how to get out of debt. You say, well, I got to have some money. In order to get out of debt, in order to save money, I got to have some money, Mr. Cruz. You're right. We've been saying now for how long you've been working jobs. And I'm, and I'm talking to myself. Because I'm always, every time I get, every time I get upset with myself that I don't have no money, my bank account is the way it's been since I was a kid. Going nowhere. Is that the white man's fault or is that my fault? I'll let you answer that. But you are free today. You're free to join or not to join. Join what, you might ask? Join what? Join white folks. Look at what they're doing and saying, hey, I'd like to be a part of it instead of against it. See, this is the problem. We don't want to evolve. We don't want to... Um, come to a middle ground. We don't want to connect with those. See, I, I keep my eyes and my attention on people that are living good. I don't have time for people that are always down on their luck. I don't care what race they are. It ain't just black folks. It's everybody. Okay? I don't treat the homeless guys downtown any better than I treat the homeless black guys downtown. Okay? I'm the same way with everybody. Okay? If I don't have a dollar to give you, you on your own. I need somebody to give me a dollar. Just because I work, that don't make me rich. Okay? If I was rich, I wouldn't be working, right? I say Robert Karosaki. That's what I say. I say Dave Ramsey. Read a book. Learn something. Neither one of them books are about white folks. They're about rich folks. There's, 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 there's information in there that can help everybody, not just white folks. Okay? But you're free to join or not to join. You can choose other people's cultures if you want to, if your culture sucks. And it does. Your culture sucks, I hate to tell you. The best we can offer the music scene is rap music, Drake, Snoop Dogg, Kanye West. Nice music, but I don't want to give black folks credit for that. Okay? I don't want to give black folks the credit for that. Who's that knucklehead that tried to scrutinize Christians the other day? That I, oh, Tank. Just met, just met to do tank we gotta do better than tank trying to represent represent r kelly i hope that don't mean he hiding a 13 year old child behind the scenes somewhere like r kelly okay trying to represent okay you need to represent represent getting saved and getting your right life right with god mr represent anyway you're free to learn you're free to learn from those around you. If Instead of me envying somebody and saying, oh, some magic trick must have happened to make him so successful, 
Some magic tr trick must have happened for him to have such a beautiful family, to be able to take his family on these expensive vacations, and his his kids are so well behaved, and you, you know what I'm saying, and his wife is so beautiful, and all these different things, and you're looking and you're envying this person. Look, you're free to learn, bro. You're free to learn. Some of the best people have learned from experience other than going to college. Some of the best people you ever want to meet learn from hanging out with wealthy people, hanging out with white people, hanging out with, um, you know, Indian people. This is how they learned. Hanging out with Asian people. This is how they learned. Okay? There's nothing wrong, again, this is America. We are free to walk in other people's races. Okay? Other than that border wall, I say you're free to, 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 to hang out in Chinatown, Koreatown, okay? You know, move it next door to the Indian dude and become best friends. Whatever you need to do. Okay? To get where you need to get, because this is America, you're free to do that. You don't have to sit there and say, well, I'm black, I'm a victim, and this is all I got. Look at these white people. Hmm. The Asian dude right across the lobby is richer than he is, I can tell. Okay? And you know I'm choosing the Asian, the hot Asian wife over the hot white lady. Okay? They ain't even, they just come here to do business. But they, they, they own property in this country. They can come here as often as they want to. They got a house here and a house in China. Learn something, bro. Learn something. These people come into your country and they come into your city and they're doing seminars all over the place. And these seminars cost you what? Gas money. Okay? And registration. It's easy. You know what I'm saying? I've been to some of them. They're awesome. I didn't get my free my free iPhone. No, my free iPad. They supposed to give me an iPad. The iPads ain't popular anymore. They were supposed to give me a free iPad. I didn't get it. I'm still upset about not getting my iPad. I was supposed to get a free iPad. Okay? I think they didn't give me an iPad because I didn't buy no books. I started to. But I only... Well, I did buy one book, but I didn't buy the pricey ones, you know. Anyway, you're free to learn. You can buy books. You ain't got to go to college. You can buy books. All the stuff that they teach in college... Okay, the difference between you learning from books and you going to college to where they learn from books is in college, you get licenses and degrees and certificates and diplomas. Okay, you go learn from books, you're certified to do nothing. What proof? What do you you have no awards or achievements on your wall? You have no state ID that says you graduated, you have a PhD, you have a master's or anything. You just some dude that knows. That's the difference. So if you really, 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 really want to open up your business and 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 you know keep from any scrutiny. Yeah, you might want to invest in graduating some kind of college, whether it be community college or university, something that will give you a license to, 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 to speak up for yourself. You know, it's like an attorney. That degree, that diploma, that certificate, that's like an attorney that's going to speak for you when people try to tell you you're not qualified. Okay, that works like an attorney. You can say, hold up, I graduated from Yale. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? I graduated from Yale. 
with a master's degree and all these credits that I didn't even use. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You know, so there you go. You're free to pick a team. This is going to sound really controversial. If you don't like being black, be something else. Like that dude said over there in Buffalo when that shooting happened. I didn't, I didn't choose to be black. Okay. Then don't choose to be black then. If you dumb enough, if you dumb enough to say some crap like that. Choose to be white. Start hanging out with white folks. Okay? Move down to the south and get yourself a country accent. Start wearing a cowboy hat. Okay? What's that what's that Republican um cowboy um sheriff's name? I forget. Oh, Brown. Something. Charles Brown? I forget his name. Um Sheriff Sheriff Brown or something like that. Um, you know, move, 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 move to the Carolinas. Move to Texas. Okay? Stay away from Dragnaut Silvaz when you go down there. Because <laughs> he ain't got nothing to do. He he got a country accent. But, uh, that, 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 that's some ghetto-ness. I hit not, hit not under... Hitting under all that other stuff. That that that's a you know that's a that's a you know I never seen a paid hood rat before. You know he gets paid to be a hood rat. I never never seen that before. Okay, since y'all want to keep coming to my channel, trying to trying trying to activate me, I have no apologies for what I say from this point on. Leave me alone. Or, here, you, here, there you go, okay? But you're free to pick a team. Just like I'm free to be a Republican. A lot of black folks are telling me, oh, they, they don't want to come out and say it, but you basically that's what you're saying. You're saying I don't have a right to be diverse. I don't have a right to be in a different political party. I'm a hater. I'm a racist because I'm a Republican. But the white Democrats ain't treating you no better than uh, white Republicans are treating me. So, 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 what do you get? What peace of mind, being you always playing the race car? What peace of mind are you getting from being a Democrat? Absolutely none. Absolutely nothing. But I can honestly tell you, I got friends for being a Republican. I got people to change their thoughts about me because I'm a Republican. And part of that is because half the populations of Christians, black or white, are Republicans. Why? It makes sense. There's more to it than just picking a party. It actually means something to be one or the other. Black folks, you don't know that, but it does. Forget Donald Trump. Take him out of the picture. Let's say I'm a Republican and I hate Donald Trump. Do I still have a right to be a Republican? Not according to the last argument I had just the other day with a brother. Not, not according to the last argument I had. It ain't just Trump. I got to be a Democrat. Okay. Okay. That's why you'll always call everything slavery until the day you die in a nursing home. You'll call everything slavery. Okay. Keep that happy thought to yourself. I don't need it. We're free to be diverse. Are we not? I just said that. We're free to abstain. Ooh. You're free to be a Christian or not be a Christian. You're free to be atheist or not be an atheist. You can be a Muslim. I think that's stupid because they really don't treat you like a, like a Muslim unless you are an Arab who can speak Arabic. When it comes to, to actually going down to Mecca. You're going to need more than just being a Muslim. You're going to be you're going to need to be. A black person that lived in that region all your life mainly. OK. Um, you don't get why. Why is there a separation between the Arab church and the black Muslim church? If. 
blacks and air you know they high five on the street when they pass the the mosque but they go to different churches they go to different mosques but again that you know that you know anything that ain't christian is false anyway so it doesn't make, it doesn't really make a difference but you know what i'm saying you're free to be diverse you're free to abstain from what you feel is racial against you what is false religion you know if you're in the wrong political party try my party okay or create your own christian party okay which no one's going to vote for you but at least you have a group that will you know maybe someday actually be voted for i don't know but you know you're free to abstain or register with anything okay you're free to associate or not be sociable and i think some people should stop being so sociable and associate with somebody other than blackness okay other than blackness you know this one guy i don't know if you you probably seen the video i don't know the guy's name but he said the other day in a video he said that he didn't care about black lives matter he said that he said that he said you know you know the most people that pull me down and kick me when i'm down and and gossip about me and talk about me and try to get me in my feelings he said them are black folk the main white folk them are black folk okay they're the ones that do that to me they're the ones that kick me when i'm down you know what i'm saying he said it ain't the white man it's the black man you know he is abstaining and then he said this he says you know what's more worse than um than black folks two of them <laughs> he said two of them I said, man, he sound like D-Roy Cruz saying some crap like that. You know what's more worse than black folks? Two of them, okay? Two of them running their mouths at the same time, you know. And next thing you know, they fighting and they both agree with each other, you know. But you're free to associate and you're free to be, free not to be sociable. You can be quiet. Like, I don't, I don't take sides. I don't take sides. The only side I take is the Jesus side. I don't I don't agree with all Republicans. I don't agree with all conservatives. I don't agree with all Democrats. I don't feel that all Democrats are bad. Okay? But I'm free to associate with whoever I want to associate with as a black man. I can associate with the white man, depending on what kind of white man he is. I can associate with other races. I can associate with wealthy people. I can associate with clean people. I can associate with people that are non-street, that that have, you know, positive lifestyles. You know what I'm saying? Who have, you know, I can learn from people, like I said. There's nothing wrong with that. But we want to call ourselves slaves every day. But yet, you don't understand, a slave doesn't know, because he was a slave. A slave is going to be slow catching up to the rest of the back, because he was a slave. So what should you do? We don't have time to be fighting with cops. We don't have time to be calling everything negative to white man. We need to be learning. You can learn from your enemies. You can learn from your enemies. Some of the main things I've learned in life that have saved my life is learning from those that have taken me down. And I always say, you only get to do this once. Everybody gets three shots. Once I'm down, you only get to take me down once. Now that I know who you are and what you're up to and what your agenda is, now it's time for, you know, now I got to grow up here. And I got to show you that... Um, all things come to an end, including this black nonsense. 
this black hatred for the white man this 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 constant violence i'm from pittsburgh ladies and gentlemen i'm from pittsburgh every time i get an uber okay the uber driver when we talk about stuff going on here in pittsburgh he don't want to say the word black being there's a black man in his back seat i always help him out hey brother it's okay to say black because i know it's black folks doing this crap those are black kids downtown that are going around killing people because their parents don't want them. Their parents kicked them out. There's no Schumann Center to put them in. So when their parents, when they call their parents, when the cops call their parents and say, we got your kid down here at the police, oh, I don't want them. What am I supposed to do with them? Okay, then. Okay, then. Next time, you know, somebody starts talking about parents and children and why children commit violence, why so many black kids are the way they are, um, you can blame yourself, Mr. Mom and Dad, that don't want his kids. Okay? And I, I admit, though, if your kids are full-grown, they full-size, you know I mean, and, and you ain't got no human center to put them in, and you're afraid your kids will kill you in your sleep, eh, what are you going to do? But I'm out of here. I am D. Roy Cruz. I am your life applications officer. Another long video, but I got it all out. I told you it'd be short. That's about as short as I'm going to get, especially for a topic like this. Thank you for watching. Talk to you again with more soon. God bless.